Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you've had a great week and I hope that you are staying cool. I know it's just been really, really hot here. And um, so I've been staying indoors mostly. We haven't gone to the water park this week. We'll probably go tomorrow. I think we might go to the movies today. Um, but I am going to show you what I got this week in, I've kind of got them here in order, <laughs> in the order in which they were purchased and um, just tell you what I think about some of the things because some of them I've used for a whole week now. Uh, let's see, last Friday, I think, I went out to Laura Mercier and I had read good reviews on this shadow and I had swatched it a couple of times and not gotten it and I said I finally got it and it is cashmere and a lot of you probably already have it. It's just a, it reminds me of the shadow version of Girl Friendly Paint Pot. It's just a real neutral mauve pink. It actually, let me swap, see if it'll swatch on my hand. It's pretty non-eventful, but it is a good base. Um, if I had to say, I probably wouldn't buy it again. I have used it a couple of times, and maybe if some of you have it and use it in a good way, then you can let me know. But um, I do like it okay. I like it enough not to take it back. Then, Mary Ann was helping me there, and she was helping me. I told her I wanted, you just, I haven't used many of their lipsticks, so I was curious if they had a good nude combo. And we came up with this one, and it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. It is the Lipstick in Passion Fruit. And I think a lot of you would like this color. It is a neat, it's one of those nudes you can really pull it pink or nude. And it, um, it has pretty good color payoff, even though that didn't look like it. But the lip liner, and I was hesitant to even get the lip liner because I've got so many and I've got so many naturals and everything. But when she tried it on with this, I really liked it. And it's called just Natural Lips. And it looks really good with it. See if you can see there. It gives a really pretty nude lip, but with a little, you know, a little shimmer, a little pizzazz. Not as, I didn't, I don't really like them when they're just too creamy or too flat. I like them to have just a little bit of dimension, and that's what that is. And it, it's just a really good combo. I almost showed this to you earlier in the week because I was so excited about it. I wore it, I just had to get the lipstick out of my purse. I've been wearing it all week. So I really do think that that would be a good one for most of you. The thing I did that day is I wanted, I have been wanting Chanel Vamp for so long. I saw, I think it was Rachel Zoe was wearing it, and I had this years ago, and mine, I used it until it got yucky, and um, they were out of it last time I went to go see, so I went to go get the Vamp. Well, Tiffany said, did you see the new colors? And so I went over there and ended up looking at the new colors and getting one of those, and this one is just beautiful. It's called, it's numbers 531 Peridot. And I hope the camera picks up this color. Look how gorgeous that is. I told her it reminded me of a June bug. How they have, you know, those, all the different blues and greens and grays. So I haven't worn this yet, and it, it is in the new collection. There was, actually all three colors are really pretty, but one of them, she said it's gonna be like a permanent color. And then the other one that I might end up getting is like a beautiful sparkly charcoal gray. So um, I'm just real excited about that gorgeous. It's one of those colors, I think, that will go over well. And I love Chanel polishes. I know a couple of you have asked me how they wear. I think they wear wonderful. I think they wear just as good as or better than any of them. So, let's see. Um, I think that's all that I got that day at the mall. And then that night, um, we went to our normal Mexican restaurant, and on the way to, we have two different Mexican restaurants we go to, but on the way to one of them is this really nice store that's like a local boutique, and they sell designer jeans, and I've only been in there two times. Not sure where I was. I've got everybody here today, so I'm getting interrupted, but anyway, there is a boutique on the way, and I've never been in there, but a couple of times, and we went in there that night because I wanted to try to get some new jeans. You know, I got those two new pair last week, but I really wanted to try some, all of you always tell me about these different jeans, and I see, you know, the different stars and stuff wearing these jeans, and um, I wanted to try to get some that were nice and longer, because all of my jeans are not long enough to wear with high heels, so ended up going in there, and they had a sale. All of their jeans 
were, um, I think, 30% off and some of them even more. So I'll show you what I got and then how much I saved and what I think of them. Um, the first ones that I got, and I've washed them all because I wanted to check the links. I wanted to wash them and dry them before I had them hemmed. And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to have any of them hemmed. But the first ones that I got are called Rich and Skinny. And I love that name. I told John that's just like fried and chocolate. <laughs> Two good things. Here they are, and they are the boot cut. And they're just the dark wash. And they're pretty plain. They just fit really well. And um, these jeans are just so comfortable. Let me see what they're made of. Let's see. They are 82% um, cotton, 16% polyester, and 2% spandex. So you can imagine how good they feel. And let's see um, which ones. The style of them is the wedge jean. I got size 29 and they were regularly 149 and I got those 30% off. So that was a really good deal on those. And I'll be wearing these soon and showing Next them to you. These ones are probably my favorites and they are the um, Citizens of Humanity. And it was so funny when the girl was going through the stack, you know, asking me, have I tried this? Have I tried that? I had not tried any of them except for I have one pair of seven jeans that I had gotten at that store years ago. But um, these are the, let's see, refined, slim fit, chic, sophisticated, fit for all, the Morrison, low rise, slim boot cut. And they fit just wonderful. And that's what they are. And let's see, these were regularly 209, but I got 30% off. So, and they are the light wash, and I plan on getting the dark wash too. But um, they just feel just fabulous on. And they have a real nice long leg and um, that's what the back of them look like. And I just love them, love them, love them, love them. You probably see Will's behind me watching TV and I've got John over in the study talking on the phone and playing the stock market. So that's why I'm probably talking a little bit lower. But um, anyway, and th these jeans I've heard of so many times, even in songs and everything else, and I've never tried them. And they are the True Religion. And they're just the classic true religion. Let's see. And um, let's see what kind they are. The Joey Women's Stretch. And they're the boot cut. And I got size 29. And they were regularly 196, but they were 30% off. So you'll probably notice a pattern with me. I, I like to get nice stuff, but I really do like to get a good deal. And when I find something like this, I like to go ahead and take advantage of it because I just, these jeans are so nice, and I just, I do love supporting local businesses and, you know, trying to help out any way I can, so I love these. These are extremely long, but when I tried them on with my heels, they were just about perfect, so I don't think I'm going to have them taken up, and if you'll remember last year when I'd wear my American Eagle jeans and everything, um, Plenty of people reminded me and informed me that my jeans were too short. They really need to be almost hitting the ground when you're wearing shoes like that. And all of mine were too short. So um, I'll probably just save those to wear with like flip-flops or, you know. But love those. And they're just pretty um, basic. They do have the more of a flare and the twisted seam. They're really neat looking on. And that's those. So, and then um, it was... It was a fun experience because they had like a couch in there and John was sitting on the couch and got to watch me try them all on. I got to get his opinion, which I love that. I, I would actually much rather shop with him than shop by myself because I love having that opinion, his opinion that matters. So um, we got up to the counter to check out and this store, they sell like Tom Ford sunglasses and just a bunch of really nice stuff. And on the counter was a beautiful, python handbag and it was a uh, Rebecca Minkoff and I had the zippers all over it and the little tassels and everything and I tried it on I just loved it and so I ended up getting it and brought it home and I noticed that night when I looked at the tag it said Rebecca Minkoff python clutch and I thought oh no you know I bet I'm just not gonna be able to fit all my stuff into this bag so I took everything out of my purse and got rid of like my makeup bag and everything just to see if I could handle it and I just couldn't. It was so full that even the, it just didn't even keep its shape well because it was so full. 
So the next day I called and they let me come in and exchange it. And they also sell Cuba handbags, which the first time I had ever heard of Cuba handbags, I think was Coco LaRue had gotten one. And then a lot of times I'll see them. I know I just saw one in the um, latest Marie Claire magazine. You'll see, I think, like Sarah Jessica Parker, Kim Kardashian, all those girls a lot of times will carry a Cuba handbag. And I think it's like a mother and daughter, and Cuba is the mom's maiden name. But they're real... Um, their handbags are not structured like a Louis Vuitton or something. They're a totally different look, and they're real soft and everything. So I ended up getting one, and I'm going to get Here it is, and it's just, there's the name in case you were wondering. And then it has the little Cuba tag there. But this one, they just feel so good. It's more of like a slouchy bag, kind of like um, my Lucky bag that I love so much. And it has the nice handles like this. And the good thing about this is you can wear it this way or it's, I think it's called a convertible or something because you can do it like this and then you can carry it, um, you know, cross body like that. So I'm really excited about that because that's just something totally different than I have. And um, they are, you know, kind of expensive. This is called the Sean bag and it was, um, regularly $5.45, but they did give me, I believe I got like 15% off, and the good news that I have to tell you is I've seen this exact same bag on Zappos, and they have it on sale for, I think, three something, and um, I just think it's a really good bag for that money. It's all leather, and you can see it's real pretty, and I just think it'll be so good dressed up or down, and um, just a really good shopping bag, so I'm really excited about that. Like a nice little bag to put it in and I forgot to show you the inside it has the magnet and then it opens up wide and it has like pockets in here and then the other pockets and then the key finder holder thing right there plenty of pockets so I think it's a very very practical bag. I think it will really be user friendly. And I think the only top I got this week was um, I had gone into Banana Republic. Um, Tammy told me they had a really good sale there and I ended up just picking up this t-shirt which is kind of like the ombre gray. Something like that and I just thought that would look good with jeans or anything else you know and I wear t-shirts like this all year I'm round. Finished. Um, ended up taking back the mascaras that I showed you guys the other day. I don't know if it was the top mascara or the bottom lash. I'm thinking it was the top, but one of them gave me darkness under the eyes, and that's just something I cannot stand. I have gotten so spoiled to not having any darkness or mascara or flaky makeup whatsoever underneath my eyes that I just didn't care for it. So, and then the top one, it was okay. Um, and I think that's probably the one that was flaking, but it wasn't as good as that Maybelline Lash Stylist. So I just took those back and ended up, um, Catherine was working at the counter, and I loved her lip combination. I loved her makeup. I asked her what she was wearing, and this is what it was. I actually already had the lip liner, which is the Sky Violet, and I'll um, swatch it for you. So it's a pinky violet kind of color. It's a, a real good one to have. And then it was this lipstick, which is the Long Last Lipstick in Silvery Moon. And that's, this is what I have on today. And it seems like my mom used to wear this one. So that's the lipstick. So it's, you know, it's a cool pinky purple type color. And then this is the lip gloss. It's the Full Potential Luscious Lilac. And it's gorgeous. Even if you just got the gloss, it's worth it. So, and that's the gloss. So that is the lip combination that I have on now, and the gloss feels great. It isn't one that stings at all. Another thing that she had on that I just loved was her makeup. And I noticed it was just really plain or simple, but yet it really looked good. And I asked her what she had on, and she had on there I think it's just champagne. This is like a comedy, me trying to get this video done, but that's okay. 
Then I asked her what she had on. She had on the champagne eyeshadow, and she said she just had Midnight put into the crease, which is their black. And, you know, it. I remembered Pixie Woo, I think Sam, always said that she, she uses Midnight a lot. And it's just their black, kind of comparable, sorry, kind of comparable to MAC Carbon, but, oh, gosh, so much easier to use. I mean, first of all, let me just swatch it for you. It's real silky. It's not powdery. And this just tells the whole story right there. Look how light and easily blended out it is. So it's not one of those dangerous blacks that, you know, as soon as you touch, it's just like there's even a black in my sleek palette that I can't use because it's like that. It's almost too pigmented. So if you, all I have on today is Smashbox Champagne, and then I have on this in the crease. And um, it just worked wonderful to blend. And then I used a little bit of MAC Modelette to blend out just the top. And um, I love it. So it's a little, it's a, more of a made up look for me and it is more noticeable, but I really like it and it looked really good on so her. Thank you, Catherine, for all of your good ideas and um, your help. Then I did some more things. Let's see, I ended up going to Victoria's Secret. I had those cards. A lot of you, oh, here they are. The, a lot of you probably got these too. In the mail, it's these, um, the free cards. And I was hoping I could use, because I have the $10 off of a bra, and um, there's a free travel bag, lingerie bag, but you had to spend $60, which I probably would have done that. And um, But they, in the one I went to, did not have any naked bras at all, and they didn't have my size even in the sexy tee bra. So I um, ended up getting just the little free underwear and um, panties. They were the hip huggers. And... Um, one of my $10 off was just off of any purchase. It wasn't off of a bra. So I got this for free. It is the, I love, I would get this just the way it looks. Look at that little lavender. I just love that. And it's um, Hold Please Volume Shine Hairspray. Get bedroom romp hair, extreme body and lift. Uh, 40 times more sexy in every spritz. And it smells awesome. It is a strong, um, I put it on today, I think right here I can feel it a little bit more. It's a little bit stronger than the other one I've been using, but it is um, really volumizing. It smells like perfume. It smells so good, and it's supposed to add shine, too. And she said that everybody really, really loves this, and it's $10 um, for the thing. So if you got that coupon, this will be something good to use it on. And I'll just keep you informed, but... Even if I didn't like it, just that can is just awesome. <laughs> I love the colors. I love the picture. So, still in the mall and went up going back through Belks and noticed that they had all of their clearance was an extra 40% off in the jewelry. And I cannot believe I found these on the clearance. They were marked down to $19.99 and then I got them, I think, 40% off of that. And I have looked at these forever and they never go on sale. And... Um, they're the Betsy Johnson little crowns with a little jewel in there. I hope you can see I them. love these. This is, this is something I would just wear with sweats or whatever. I just think they're awesome. And they were regularly, um, looks like $40. So that was a good deal. Uh, going to, my friend Amanda was working at Chanel, and I ended up getting the Vamp um, nail polish. And it's such a gorgeous color. Is, I, you will never be able to see it here, but look at that. It's one of those dark colors, but yet it's got so much just dimension and pizzazz to it. And it's just a classic. So I was excited to get back that. And I don't know if I showed you guys the little teeny cute bag they gave me with the other one. I love that. Just red in the latest Cosmo. I usually don't get those because they don't. there's nothing in there that really interests me. But this month I had Kim Kardashian on the front and I ended up getting it the other day and she is wearing Chanel makeup on the front of the magazine and this is the gloss she was wearing and it's one that I have never tried, this formula. It's their Pure Shine Intense Color Long Wear Lip Gloss. And the color was just so pretty and I think that so many of you would love this color. It is um, a real just toffee beige color and the applicator looks like that and it was so hard to pick what color to wear today because I wanted to wear this 
It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, sexy nude color. And Amanda said that this always makes, she said it's not advertised as like a plumping gloss, but it always makes her lips, she feels like it makes everybody's lips look more full. And um, I kind of noticed that too. But I really recommend this. And um, I had it on yesterday and it did seem to wear a long time. So I'll keep you informed on how I feel about it, but it's just gorgeous. And that was number 51, and I don't know how to pronounce this name, Insouciance, maybe? Um, it's I-N-S-O-U-C-I-A-N-C-E, -E, and I'll have everything. Well, I won't have this down below, so that's it. It's the Rouge Allure um, Pure Brilliance Long Lasting number the 51. The last thing that I did yesterday was one of the boutiques down at the beach was they had sent me an email that they're having their big summer sale so they're the place that I had bought the Stuart Weitzman wedges so went down there to see what they had and of course all their shoes I think they had one pair that had an eight and they didn't fit well and I ended up trying on a few things but luckily I didn't get anything but I did get two any of their shoes or anything but I did get two pair of earrings that I really like and um, this is the first pair it's just like kind of like the silver ones I got from the limited but these are even think sparklier and um, maybe a little bit longer and I just love them. I think they're going to look good with a lot of different these. things. I debated and debated and debated whether to get these and they were $20 and I figured I would go ahead and do it because they're they're very different and um, I thought they would be just you know something kind of funky to wear with a plain outfit but they're um, if you can see them they're like little owls you know owl jewelry kind of came in there for a while so and thought they would be something different too so and then they even came in a nice box and everything it. and um like i said john is home today and we're gonna go take the kids to see a movie and do some things so i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day yeah, right back Tank top. I think it's either, I think it's probably from Target, and this is the belt that I got at, let's see, The Loft last week. These shorts came from Old Navy, um, and these are the shoes that I got at Ross. Um, they're the wedges that we got the gray and the black ones, and then I'm going to just carry my, and then this is the bag that I'll be carrying, just my regular um, Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. Accessories today, I have on the Betsy Johnson earrings that Rhonda sent me that I love. They've got the little shoe and then the pink stone and the bow and they are very light and comfortable and I love them. And um, I have on a little pink coach ring that I got I think last summer and um, my blush fossil watch and my nail polish is one that Olivia sent me from Canada and the name of it I believe is it is, it is black amethyst and I love it and the funny thing is the girl at the Laura Mercier counter last week had this on her toes and I asked her what it was and she used to work for Estee Lauder and she said oh it was a you know limited edition um, polish and so I went over to the Estee Lauder counter they didn't have it anymore and I came home and this is the one that Olivia had sent me so I just love it it looks really good on toes and um, so your Estee Lauder counter may have it but if they don't check with a CCO or um, just google it and see if it's like on eBay or something like that but it just went on so well and look at that pretty bottle it's a it's a rose gold top, so maybe it came out with, I don't know what collection it came out with, but um, just went on perfect, and I love it. So thanks again, Olivia. And the fragrance I have on today is the Bond Number no. 9 Fire Island, and I guess that's it. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.